Hello everyone, my name is Ilian and I'm going to show you the basics of Test Studio's desktop testing. Enjoy! First, I will create a new project. If I choose desktop testing here, it will add automatically one desktop test to get me started faster. Once I have the desktop test, I need to set it up with the application to be tested. You can choose a default application path in the project settings to be easily used in all new desktop tests or you can specify different application in each test. Here I browse to where my application is located and choose the executable file. Now I'm all set up to start recording my first test. Hit the record button to launch the application under test with Test Studio's recorder attached. Here is the recorder toolbar loaded on top of my application. You can move it around and switch between vertical and horizontal mode. The other options are to turn on or off highlighting, to pause the recording, to open the advanced recording tools and to go the online documentation. When Test Studio is in recording mode, all the actions are being recorded as steps in your opened test. Mouse clicks, keyboard typing, drag and drop, and any other action that the user does. To make sure that everything will be recorded correctly, Test Studio checks if an element is ready to record a step against it. If it's not ready, but you perform an action, you will see this red notification. When the element is ready, the ready to record message appears. This helps you create more stable and reliable tests. Once the element is ready, I can record against it. In order to have a fully functional and efficient test, I would like to add verifications as well. They are needed for two main reasons. To compare the actual behavior of the application under test with the expected one and to make sure that the application is under the right and expected conditions so the automated test can go on without script errors and interruptions. I will turn the highlighting on and all visual objects or as we call them elements are being displayed. From this menu here I can add the most commonly used test steps, verifications, weights, clicks and many more. Now I have recorded few steps and they have been added to my test. I can run them, edit them or add new ones. When I have more than one test, I would like to run them in bulk. This can be done with test lists. Here, I can create one test list and add all my tests. When you run the test list, it will execute all the tests one by one. These were the basics of desktop testing with Test Studio. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thanks for watching, bye and happy testing!